Uh, commands are just executable files, which are located in bin, user bin, also the path variable in bash. Uh, we'll get to that, um, because no, that's not true. Um, commands can be executable files, which are located in your path, but they can also be functions, they can be aliases, they can be built into your shell. So, like, you know, what is CD? CD is a function, CD is a shell built-in, and CD is user bin CD. So it's a function that gets called first, which calls the built-in of CD, which gets called here, and then never calls this thing on my file system. So we'll be a little bit careful with that. Um, true. Hey, look at that. I know you meant true to what I said, but also, what is true? True is a shell built-in. True will also exist on my system, but true is a shell built-in. So yeah, be careful with that because let's look at my PWD. And now let's call bin CD. No, was it user bin CD? Uh, let's go to slash temp. Ready for this? Where do you think we are? Where do you think we are, everybody? What directory do you think we currently are in? Um, a lot of setup here. I kind of held everyone's hand getting here. But let's go ahead and find out what directory we're in. Uh-oh. Uh we're in the same directory. Why is that? Because we forked an external command which created its own environment. And then it did call the chdir syscall to go into here. And it returned either successfully or not successfully. We can check that with this. But our pwd doesn't change because it can't change the process above it. Um, if we were to cd into like, you know, this, uh, it prints an error and it also echoes that. So this command's useful for seeing if I can chdir into something. But the command itself doesn't really do anything.